Welcome back to our simple little Minecraft Let's Play, where we're learning to enjoy the game again without min-maxing the fun out of everything. We're building a world we feel connected to, one block at a time. So if you're looking to get inspired, or you just need a video to put on while you eat, you're in the right place. I'm just mining away some of this copper here because we need a lot for today's build. I guess I've been here before when I find out a bunch of diorite. <laughs> I guess we'll leave that hole open because I think there's more to discover, but that's not what we're doing right now. We're just there for the copper. Actually, let me show you what I've been up to. <laughs> I've covered the entire back area of my house here with copper blocks because today we are building a beautiful little greenhouse. I am just in love with the area around my base right now and I want to keep adding to it and I think a greenhouse would look super nice. So let me chuck this stuff in our little super smelter here and I got a bunch more that I got to set out because this stuff needs to be green. Oh, also, I should mention, one of you guys is going to work in the greenhouse. We've got to check who's next on the villager list, but I think one of you guys is going to be the caretaker of our little greenhouse. But before we do all of that, hey B, here, let me help you out. There you go. I want to go make a better sword because I'm running low on stake constantly, and I need looting on my sword. Oop, did I pick that up? I did. Oh yeah, check it out. Candles. I kept the glass because the candles just by themselves looked a little weird, but let me, let me, but, but let me know what you guys think. Okay. Give me a good enchant. Sweeping edge? Actually, I'll take it. Oh, and sharpness. Okay, but not looting. I got more levels. Let's just craft another sword and try again. Dang it. Hmm. Okay, that's a decent sword. Man, I really thought I was going to get looting like right away. Dang it. Thankfully, it was nothing a little time in the skeleton spawner couldn't fix. After a couple of cycles of enchanting and disenchanting and enchanting and disenchanting, we finally got it. Let's go. Pain of arthropods, are you kidding me? That's okay. Maybe this can just be our cow sword. <laughs> and speaking of cows, I have been breeding these up like crazy. Like, I don't think I've ever breeded up this many cows in a single area before. So we're about to put this new blade to the test. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> look at this. There's gotta be like a hundred, over a hundred in here, I feel like. <laughs> can you spot the imposter? <laughs> Okay, let's breed them up one more time before I start my, uh, removal. Okay, yeah, they just ate through, like, a stack of wheat in no time. I'm surprised this isn't lagging my world more, actually. Well, let's test out the new tool. Okay, oh my gosh. That was every adult except two. I haven't opened my inventory yet to check what's in there. Do you want to guess? Type, type a guess in the comments below. I mean, you could just wait for me to open my inventory right now and then type your guess, but that's no fun. Type your guess. What do you think? <laughs> oh my gosh. What is this? How many stacks is this? Wait, let me get that out of the way so that you can see easier. Nine stacks, nine whole stacks of beef. Our oven is going to be working overtime for the next few hours. I think our food problem is solved. And into the ovens they go. We'll just store the rest up at the top here. Bovine bane. There we go. I'll keep it up at the farm so that we can only use it for harvesting purposes. With our cow pen empty and our pantry full, the sun setting outside and the mob spawning reminded me of another goal I wanted to achieve today. My armor is looking a little worse for wear. Actually, it's worse than worse for wear. I literally, I think these two things broke. So it's time for me to test something out. Someone said you can use, is it, oh, I can't remember if it's nuggets or ingots to repair armor. Do I need an anvil for this? I don't actually know what I'm doing, but hey, that's most of the time anyway. So we're on the right track. Oh, enchantment costs four. Wait, can you do it like through a grindstone, I wonder? No. Dang it. And you can't just do it in your inventory? Nope. All right. I think this poor guy's probably going to break. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. It didn't break. Wow. It held on. Let's go. Look at us now. Oh my goodness. That's so cool. A full set of chainmail armor. Oh, I look so good in it. Look at my shirt. Look at my face. I know it's just like armor with holes in it. I don't know. It's cool. Can hang up these for now. Hey, Gail, how do I look? Be honest. 
Well, it's impossible to tell what he thinks, I guess. I'm glad to see you're still in your tank, not up to any mischief, huh? I think we're honestly going to need a lot more copper than this still. I'm not sure. I don't know. I want to start building, but I also want to have enough materials before I start building so I can finish the whole dang thing at once. Also, these are some of the coolest sounds they've added into the game, I think. Just... Oh, they sound so good. They sound so metallic. I realized the copper I had on hand was not going to be enough for this build. So I headed back to the place where I could get some more. Okay, there's just this offshoot down here where I was mining diorite and I guess I left the copper, but it goes a couple of different directions, I think. So let's check it out. Oh, I see more copper already. Oh, that goes far down. Hello? Oh my goodness. This is right under my mine. There you are. I heard you. Ow. Hey. No match for my chainmail armor. What started as a simple run for copper turned into much more as I found myself going deeper and deeper into the caves. Before I knew it, I was at diamond level. Also, take this as your reminder to always dig around and see if you can find more diamonds. Except, not with this one, it didn't work with this one. <laughs> okay, I see torches down here, but I haven't been down this way yet today. Where do you want to bet this is? Hmm. This is massive and clearly I've missed a lot of things. <laughs> Interesting. Wow. Yeah, there's still so much down here. Like a creeper. Hey, bud. Give me your gunpowder. Thank you. Unfortunately, I don't think it's a very good idea to be down this deep because... Oh, diamonds. Because I don't think copper spawns very much down here. Just one? Dang, just one. Okay. <laughs> I could spend all day down here, seriously, but I need to get back up to where the copper is. Ooh. More iron. See, I just keep getting distracted. <laughs> I made my way up to the stone level where copper was a little bit more abundant and got to work. Before long, it was time to head back up to the surface through this natural opening I found. Well, well, well. Oh, hello. Oh, look at that. We're right over here. Time to unpack our riches. Let's see. Can we? Yes. Can we do this again? Yes, we can. Can we do this again? Oh, it's just going to throw it out because we don't have any room in our inventory. Well, let's stick all this in there, I guess, and do this again and do that and throw it all in here along with our gold. There we go. I just put a little coal in here, but I definitely need to refill the lava buckets. While we're waiting for our copper to smell, I guess we can take out our steaks. Look at this. A fridge full of steak. So much so that we gotta put some in a cupboard. Also, while we're here, I really wanna try something. I'm not a huge fan of the countertop and the back splash looking the same. So what would happen if I come through here, take these out, and put these in instead? Hmm. I'm going to waste all my copper blocks doing this. Hmm. How about you guys tell me what you think because I can't decide what looks better. We might have had enough copper at this point, but I was still missing glass. So I said hi to Rufus, who was just chilling on the dock, and set out to find some nice big sandbanks. I hate destroying landscapes if I can help it, so I think I'm going to try and patch this up as much as possible once I get all the sand I can from it. There. It's like we were never there. Kind of. <laughs> then I repeated the process with a couple more sandbanks, making sure to fill them in so they looked natural. Okay, even if this isn't enough, I definitely think it's going to be a start. <laughs> Okay, I have just been down here grinding levels at my Skeleton XP farm, just waiting for my copper to oxidize on the surface, because it takes so long. But you know what? I'm done waiting. I, I just want to get to building. I have a cup of hot cocoa next to me that's just getting to the stage where like you can put in the marshmallows and they don't dissolve all the way. They just kind of like puff up and you can scoop them out and eat them. Mmm, that's the best. I don't know why I'm telling you that. I'm just excited and I want to get building. 
couple more smacks for good measure. Gotta keep these skeletons in line. Also, okay, let me show you the path that I've been using to get in and out of my spawner because it's horrible. You come up here, you go up this way, you hop in the water stream and you go up to these stairs here, then you take a right, you come around this way, you make sure not to fall into the ravine, come around this way, oh don't worry it gets better. You go up here, around to the ravine again, oh is that, yeah, you can jump on that block but I usually jump on this one, all the way up, scale the edge of the ravine, pop up on this gravel, and suddenly <laughs> here you are right under my base, then you just gotta take the ladder up and you end up right in the basement or the sub level i guess it's not really a basement because it's still outside <laughs> i don't know anyway i really need to fix that i gotta make a, a better way to get down there for sure let's check how much of this is oxidized actually a fair amount which is good i need to clear this stuff out because this is where we're going to be building the greenhouse hey b i missed you i've been stuck underground for the last few hours go faster <laughs> Ah, uh, that's good cocoa. I bet you wish you had some, huh, horse horse? Too bad. <laughs> My cocoa. So I have some materials gathered up here, and the reason I need so much copper in particular is mainly because I want to be building with these blocks instead of these. I don't know why, but for some reason these look a lot better in the build that I kind of like mocked up in a test world. These just kind of look like pool tiles or something. I don't know. They 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 don't look as good as these. So the structure we're going to be building is pretty simple, but I want these, not the cut copper, which means I had to get a lot more. But now comes the fun part, which is deciding exactly where this is going to go. And it's, wow, that's a lot of bees. Do you guys ever get decision paralysis where you like, I don't know, it's just like, it's going to be here for forever and it's going to be difficult to move once we put it down. So I want it to be in the perfect spot forever. But deciding what that perfect spot is, is just so frustrating. Honestly, I think a lot of people might struggle with this when like you start up a Minecraft world and you're just, <laughs> I just did that parkour very nicely. But anyway, you start up a Minecraft world and you want the perfect place for your base and you just can't find it so you stop playing. That's the problem that I'm having right now, but it's for a greenhouse, not a base. We already have a base. I don't know what has gotten into me right now. I have a lot of energy. Let's sleep on top of the soup. Mmm, nice and warm. <laughs> Okay, I think I have the outline down where I want it. It's like a little bit off center. I think we'll have like maybe a little bit of an entrance right here. And then eventually there's going to be another build right here, I think. And then I have a fun way to connect it to over there using maybe some minecart rails. And I think I want to do the same thing over here too. I add like a minecart track going up and over to that side of the base. So there will be like, like two big L shapes connecting our whole base. Maybe. that's it's It's in my head right now, but I don't know how easy that's going to be to actually make so yeah also i don't think i'm gonna need nearly as much copper as i was thinking so all that waiting was probably for nothing oh well you know we have 48 levels from it that's fine but let's build up these archways so i'm gonna come up three and then with some stairs then i'm gonna go over two then this is gonna be a half slab three glass and that should match up perfectly if we do the same thing on the other side let's check it out Yeah, baby. Actually, okay, but this is in the front, so these are not going to be glass. These are going to be copper. Oops. They'll be glass all the way throughout the rest of the top, though. Yeah, I like that. I'm kind of going for like a Victorian-style greenhouse here, which you'll see once I get more of the build done, which is going to happen right now. Let's do some building. I started by getting the rest of the pillars on place on each side of the build. Also, while I was building, Bob showed up with the cactus trade again. I think he's just taunting me at this point. Anyway, I finished up by placing the glass to fill in the structure, and the final result looks super neat in my opinion. There's just one slight issue. <sighs> well, I built the whole thing, and it's literally one block off from this path here, and I thought it would look okay, I thought it would look messed up enough, but I think it either needs to be more off-centered, or it needs to be completely. So I guess I'm going to go through and move everything to the left one. Oh boy, Bob, you want to help? You want to be helpful for once? <laughs> okay, nope. Let's, uh, let's get going. Oh, yeah. That is much better. I kind of came up with this 
other idea for the front entrance that I like a lot better. And I also hooked up the stone path just straight here instead of using path blocks because it kind of goes a little longer I think in this direction to our front door too. So it's kind of like a neat connecting thing. Neat connecting thing that's, that's very descriptive. But now it's time to pretty it up and put some stuff inside of it. I started by gathering up a bunch of resources that I would need. Also, man, doesn't it look good from up here? I even stopped by our pal Tony Whack to get some brick. I told you we'd be back. Then I added the pathway through the middle of the greenhouse, lining it with some polished granite. And then I put the beds in place where all of our different types of greenery were going to stay. The greenhouse is done and I can't wait to show you guys, but you know the drill. First, we got some new members to thank. You can see it down there. There's a little sneak peek. Okay, let's go in. We got some bees. Oh, I forgot. They have issues with trapdoors. There you go. Be free. <laughs> All right, look at this. We got the whole first side filled already. Let's see. We got to start here. Thank you, Sean, for being a member. Dizzilly for being a legend. Bandit for being a villager. Esmeralda Garcia for being a legend. Yonky dollar sign for being a member. Domagaj Plays for being a member. Harry Crip for being a villager. Easy Tune for being another legend. Trash Sure for being a member. And Arska for being a member. And again, don't worry if your name isn't up here yet. We're just going through them little by little so that we don't take up too much time each episode. Okay, it's time for the big reveal. I got the shaders on so that we can get that ambiance that we love. Uh, let's just go inside. <laughs> there we go. You can wait out there. Anyway, it's cozy. What are you doing up there? Hey, <laughs> you're not supposed to be up there. Also, your name is Adri Gregan. You're the next person who needed to be a villager. So you're going to be our little farmer that we can trade with. I've already been trading with him quite a bit here. But anyway, back to the greenhouse tour. So you come in here, you got a hoe just in case you need it. Some plants that are ready to be potted or something. Over on this side, we got a nice rose, bu rose bush, rose bush, and we got plenty of glowberries dotting the ceiling. I really wanted this place to look like it was being worked in. So we got like his little cart here that you're tending to the, the plants, some pots that are ready to go in place here, and another little workstation here with some shears so you can get down and get really on the plants level and do some gardening. I just, I love the feel of the inside here. These little plants that are suspended from the ceiling, I think that's such a neat little idea. And the bamboo like fits perfectly with the chain. So yeah, I think the colors and everything just turned out super nice in here. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, we're also growing beetroot in here for beetroot soup because that's the only soup in Minecraft. And there's a bit of an interesting story about how I got these. Um, if I have the footage, I'll roll it now. There was a wandering trader who spawned on the top of our roof and I had to pillar up there and he was selling this. So I planted it in our little garden outside, but I think it makes a lot more sense in the greenhouse here. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, our base continues to expand. I just want to keep building things around here. Also, I definitely probably had enough copper to start building right away. I I vastly overestimated the amount of copper we would need. <laughs> so now we have all of this to build with. And here's what it looks like in the day. Also, our next build is going to house a lot more of you guys as villagers. I can't wait for that because I've been having to take it really slow recently naming you guys. And I want to get you all in the world with me. But I also don't want to just put you all in town town because that's kind of boring. Hi. <laughs> but we got one more thing to do today. I got to answer the question of the day. And at Single Pringle Destiny commented that I should put the question of the day in the mailbox. Like I'm receiving mail from you guys. And that's such an awesome idea. So we're going to do that from now on. So today's question of the day comes from, what's this? To Gil. I told Gil this was my house. For some reason, he's having mail sent to himself here. Well, maybe we can take a little peek at what it says. Gil, your new shipment of TNT is on its way. Use it sparingly. I went through a lot of trouble to get you this batch. Your pal Fred. Who's Fred? You have some explaining to do, sir. Here is a pen and some paper. I need you to write to whoever Fred is and tell him we do not need any more TNT at this house, okay? No TNT. <laughs> well, hopefully he does that because I do not want my base to be blown to bits. Anyway, the question of the day from at Ben Q. Thank you for the mail, Ben Q. <laughs> they ask, why the name Soup Soup? This question is kind of funny to me because I 
actually made my very first video on this channel before I even had the YouTube channel. I just wanted to make something. I wasn't sure if I was even going to post it and I'm glad I did because it went kind of semi-viral. <laughs> I think views now are starting to stabilize more towards what is a realistic <laughs> amount for a new YouTube channel. But anyway, I just, I made the video and I was like, shoot, I need a channel to upload it on. And I had had soup for dinner that night and I was like, soup sounds good, but it wasn't quite specific enough. So I was like, what kind of soup? Well, I couldn't decide. So soup, soup, it was soup flavored soup. <laughs> The green in the soup bowl is actually modeled off of broccoli cheddar soup, which is what I was having for dinner that night. But yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching and hanging out today. I can't wait to get started on the next episode. I'll see you then.